Hello, today we're going to do a Ruckus Unleashed uh, configuration um, from the mobile app. So I'm running a Samsung Galaxy and the first thing we have to do is we have to connect to the wireless network and at, by default when it comes out of the box it comes up as configure.me dash and the last six of the MAC address. So I'm going to connect to this network And then once I get connected, I'm going to actually launch the Unleashed mobile app that I downloaded. Uh, get the mobile app that I downloaded from the Google Play Store. And here I'm going to do a typical install. And now I'm ready to set up my Unleashed. So I'm going to hit the Start button. And this is going to take two minutes to go through the process. So we'll stop the video here and we'll come back when it's ready alright now that the initial configuration or setup of the Unleashed Master is done now we're going to do our configuration so we're going to hit the continue button and here on the step one of the wizard we have the ability to change the IP address of the master so right now it is set for DHCP and out of the box it takes a 192.168.0.1 IP address that it gives to itself. So we're going to go in here and edit this and I'm going to change this to a static IP address and this access point I'll make dot twenty my gateway is dot ten. Need to add DNS and then so we also have the ability to configure this access point as a DHCP server. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. And I'll have to give it the starting IP address. And then I have to tell it how many IP addresses I actually want to be in the pool. And I'm just going to do a small pool of 11 IP addresses. We're going to hit done. And then now we also have the ability to turn on mesh so mesh gives you the ability to bring in other access points that don't have the ability to have a land drop so or if a land drop goes down they can actually reconnect over the wireless to another access point now you lose throughput but in some situations it's very helpful um, so we're not going to do mesh I'm going to hit next and go to the next step so here I'm going to create my SSID or WLAN. I'm going to call mine Ruckus Lab. I'm going to create a pre shared key. And it needs to be eight characters or more. And I can hit the little I over here to the side and it'll actually show me what my pre shared key is. I'm going to hit next. And then here I got to create my administrator password. So the username is admin. And again, you can hit the I over there to show you your password. Um, so we're, we're done. So we're going to hit next. Now we have a review. Shows me my SSID, my pre-shared key, my username and password. And again, you can hit the I to see those. Um, so we're done with that. So we're going to hit finish. And this is going to begin the configuration process. And this is going to take a little while. So we'll pause the video again and we'll come back right before it's done. All right, we're almost done, and in just a second, we will move on to the next part of the, so here we got a congratulations screen. My Ruckus Unleashed Network is ready to use. So from here, I need to connect to my brand new SSID that I created. Here is Ruckus Lab. I'm going to connect to it. Alright, so now that I'm connected to my Ruckus Lab from here, I can do a speed test between my access point and this device, or I can skip to the dashboard, so we're just going to skip to the dashboard. And I have to log in with the credentials.
leash. And here we go. So I have one WLAN Ruckus Lab that I'm connected to that we configured. My one client is my Samsung Galaxy phone that I'm connected with right now. And our one access point who is the master. And here's the information that we set up. Firmware, the IP address of dot twenty that we set. It's MAC address, it's got one client. Amount of traffic flow that's on here. So there you go. Pretty much in less than about ten minutes we have a completely set up ruckus unleashed network. Now, I hope this video has been informative and have a great day.